Hello, Trisha Claiborne here, and welcome to my Dear Future Husband video series. Um, today is day 12 of my Dear Future Husband video series, like I just said. <laughs> um, hashtag Dear Future Husband Challenge. Um, basically, if you are just joining us, then Feel free to uh, check out my playlist and watch the previous days, starting with day one. Um, basically, the idea is that each day I will post and I will say something that I am grateful for, for my future husband, um, whether it's a, a characteristic that he has, a value, a, a trait, um, some thing that he does, even if it's the smallest thing, in hopes of attracting this type of person into my life as a husband one day. Um, and that way I can be mindful of the kind of woman that I should be that is the type of woman that would attract that type of man. So remember, you attract who you are. So that's important to think about, you know, what kind of people are you attracting, whether you're a man or a woman, you know, this could work either way. It doesn't just work for women or I mean, you know, women attracting men, it, it works either way. So think about that. If you've attracted a bunch of bad relationships in your life, whether it's friends or, or, um, partners, think about, the patterns there. Think about the things that you tend to be attracted to and why, you know, um, it's really easy if you are lacking in self-confidence and self-love to, um, to attract a person who is lacking in those as well. So if you want a person who is a confident, loving person, and they treat others with love and respect, and and they, you know, then you need to make sure that you love yourself and that you are that type of person as well. Um, maybe you have a hard time loving yourself, and so these are conversations you should have with yourself, and if you aren't loving yourself, you have to start there. You have to love yourself because you can't expect someone else to love you in a healthy way if you're not loving yourself. And so I would, I would definitely, definitely suggest you take a look at that and check it with yourself just every so often. See, how am I doing? Do, do I love myself or am I really not liking myself right now? And why? You know, these are hard discussions to have with yourself, but it's important. So that being said, dear future husband, dear future husband, thank you so much for always looking at all the little things around the house that need to be taken care of and just doing them. I, maybe I mentioned that something I need to get to something around the house. Maybe it's a light bulb that needs to be changed or, or, something like that. And you just do it. You just take it upon yourself and you do it. I don't even have to ask you. And I am so grateful for that because these are things that I fully intend to do myself, but for whatever reason, I just can't seem to get to it. Or maybe it's a little more challenging for me to do because I don't really want to bother you with that. But thank you for always being aware of when this stuff is needed and when it needs to be taken care of and just taking the initiative to do it because that's just the kind of man you are. <laughs> and I appreciate that, whether it's making sure the yard looks great or um, doing the little fix it things around the house, like changing a light bulb um, when I can't reach it or taking out the trash, you know, just those little things that I never have to ask you to do, but you just do them anyway. So thank you for that. Thank you for being that guy that is aware 
and always willing to take care of things when they need to be taken care of instead of putting them off or having to have someone nag you about it or just letting me always do it. <laughs> so thank you for being that man. All right, guys, listen, don't forget what I said. And I will see you tomorrow for day 13. And don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, and watch the days before this because there are 11, 11 videos before this. All right. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.